Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video we are going to understand how to create HubSpot contact on cognitive form submission. So I run a business and we use cognitive forms to receive new leads for our business. So now manually adding the lead received to any other CRM is a very tedious task. So now I've planned to automate this entire process. So now here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive new form submission through my cognitive form, then automatically the lead should be added as a new contact in my HubSpot CRM account. So here to automate this entire process, I need to connect my cognitive forms with my HubSpot CRM account using an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I run a business that collect leads through forms on my website using cognitive forms. So every time someone fills out their information to request a service or more details, I want to make sure their contact details are stored and managed effectively. So by automatically creating a HubSpot contact from each cognitive form submission, I can keep all my leads organized in one place without having to transfer the information manually. This integration helps me respond quickly to potential clients, track interactions and ensure no lead slips through the cracks, making my follow-up process much smoother and more efficient. So here to automate the entire process, I need to connect my cognitive forms with my HubSpot account and here to build this connection, I'm going to use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus it keeps everything organized and error free so you can focus on growing your business hustle free. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect and you can visit it by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in here you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications I'm going to use Pabli Connect. Now this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection I need to create a workflow first. So for that here I'm going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. And now here in this create workflow dialog box I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as create HubSpot contact on cognitive form submission. And now I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select the folder as per your need. Also you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect, you have to click on this learn more hyperlink given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to a forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect. So now moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow and here on my screen you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up our trigger. So I'm going to select my trigger application as cognitive forms because I'm receiving new leads through my cognitive forms. So cognitive forms is an easy to use online form builder that lets you create forms for surveys, registrations, payments and more. It's popular because it offers customizable templates and powerful features like calculations, conditional logic and payment collection all without needing coding skills. People use cognitive forms to collect information quickly and securely making it ideal for businesses, even planners and anyone who needs to gather the responses or process payments. Whether you're organizing an event, running a business or gathering feedback. Cognitive forms makes it simple and efficient. So 
ahead my cognitive forms trigger step i'm going to select my trigger event as new entry so that whenever we are going to receive new entry through our cognitive forms then automatically public connect is going to capture the response or you can say automatically this entire workflow is going to get triggered and now here after selecting my trigger event you can see we have received a webhook url that means here i'm going to use this webhook url to connect my cognitive forms with public connect so i following the instructions given below firstly i'm going to copy this webhook url and here i've already logged in my cognitive forms account so this is my cognitive forms account and here you can see all the forms which i have created using cognitive forms so here in this case i'm going to use a form which is named as contact form so here i'm going to select it and here you can see the form that i have created so here in the left side bar you can see option of post json data to a website so here i'm going to select it and here under post json data to a website you can see it is asking me for the submit entry endpoint so here you can see a previously existing webhook over here so i'm going to remove it and now i'm going to add a new webhook url that i have received in my pabli's workflow so i have successfully added a new webhook url and now i'm going to click on the save given over here and here you can see we have successfully saved our webhook url that means we have successfully set up a webhook inside our cognitive forms or you can say we have successfully connected our cognitive forms with pabli connect so now we are going to publish this form and here you can see we have received a public url for this form over here so i'm going to open the form so this is our form so now moving back to my pabli's workflow and here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response that means here to receive a webhook response we need to do a test submission and to do a test submission we need to generate a test response in our cognitive forms so for that let me take you back to my form and here i'm going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission so here for the first name i'm going to enter the name as dummy here for the last name i'm going to enter the name as user and here this title middle and suffix is not required fields so here i'm going to leave them blank here for the email i'm going to enter the email as tummy@pablitudes.com here for the address i'm going to enter the address as 456 xyz here for the city i'm going to enter the city as bhopal state as madhya pradesh here for the zip code i'm going to enter random zip code and country as india over here and then here for the phone number i'm going to enter random phone number and then i'm going to click on the submit and here you can see we have successfully submitted a new response over here so now let's go and check our pabli's workflow and here you can see we have received a successful response where we have received the phone number last name full name here you can see the first name scrolling little down here you can see the form name entry user name entry user email scrolling little down and over here you can see some other details such as the email of the user here you can see the street address state postal code and some other details as well so here after receiving the successful response we have successfully set up a trigger over here so now once we have received a new response through our cognitive forms i want to add the lead received as a new contact in my hubspot account so for that here in this action step i'm going to select my action application as hubspot crm so hubspot is a versatile platform that helps businesses with marketing sales and customer service it combines tools for managing contacts tracking interactions and automating tasks making it easier to attract and engage customers people use hubspot because it streamlines their operations improve communication and provides insights to help grow their business whether you are running marketing campaigns handling customer support or managing sales leads hubspot keeps everything organized and efficient so here in my hubspot crm action step i'm going to select my action even as create a contact so that whenever i'm going to receive new lead through cognitive forms then automatically that lead is going to add as a new contact in my hubspot crm account and now here to connect my hubspot crm with pabli connect here i'm going to click on this connect here to build a new connection i'm going to select add new connection if your hubspot crm account is already connected with pabli connect then you can click on select existing connection and now here to build a new connection i'm going to click on this connect with hubspot crm Here you can see Public Connect is requesting me to select an account, so here I'm going to select my account, and then I'm going to click on this Choose Account. An authorization successful. So here it easily got connected because here I was already logged in in my HubSpot CRM account. So to build an easy connection, make sure you are already connected with your HubSpot CRM account. So now moving forward, and then here it is asking me for the street address, city, and some other details. So here instead of entering these details manually, here I'm going to map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here I'm going to map the data from the response that I've received in my trigger step. Mapping makes the text dynamic. 
stomach so that whenever we are going to receive new response through our cognitive forms then automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one so i'm going to search for the street address so this is my lead street address so i'm going to map it moving forward here this annual revenue is not a required field so i'm going to leave it blank here for the city i'm going to search for the city so this is my lead city so i'm going to map it moving forward again this close date company name and company size are not a required field so i'm going to leave it blank here for the country i'm going to search for the country so this is the country so i'm going to map it moving forward and here again this date of birth degree and some other fields are not required fields so i'm going to leave it blank and here for the email i'm going to search for the email so this is my lead email moving forward again this fields are not required fields so i'm going to leave them blank here i'm going to search for the first name so this is my lead's first name moving forward again these fields are not required fields and i'm going to leave them blank so now scrolling a little more down here i'm going to map the last name so here i'm going to search for the last name so this is my lead's last name moving forward again these fields are not required fields and i'm going to leave it blank but if you want to add any other detail then you can do it as per your need so i'm going to search for the phone number so this is our lead's phone number moving forward Again, these fields are not a required field, so I'm going to leave them blank. And now, here after entering all the required details, I'm going to click on the Save and Send Test Request given over here. And here you can see we have received a successful response. That means we have successfully created a new contact in our HubSpot CRM account for the new lead received through our cognitive forms. So now let's go and check it. Here I'm going to refresh it. And here you can see we have successfully created a new contact with the name dummy user. Email as dummy at the rate pabitudes dot com. Here you can see the phone number and some other details as well. So with this, we have successfully set up our automation. Now let's test our automation with a real time example to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation, we are going to submit a new response in our cognitive forms. So for that, let me take you back to my form. Here I'm going to refresh it. And again, here I'm going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name, I'm going to enter the name as test, last name as lead, email as test at the rate pabritudes dot com. Here I'm going to enter a random address, city as Ajmer, state as Rajasthan. Here I'm going to enter the random zip code, country as India, and a random phone number. And then I'm going to click on the submit. And here you can see we have successfully submitted a form over here. So now let's go and check our HubSpot account. And here you can see we have successfully created a new contact over here with the name test lead, email as test at the rate pabritudes dot com and a random phone number. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as cognitive forms and our action as HubSpot CRM. So that whenever we are going to receive new response through our cognitive forms, then automatically that lead is going to add as a new contact in our HubSpot CRM account. Okay, so these were the steps to how to create a HubSpot contact on Cognitive Form submission. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. So now, if you have any doubt, then you can email us at support@pabli.com, and if you have any query, then you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing-related issue, then you can simply visit our website that is www.pabli.com. So now, if you liked our video, then please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.